having a fantastic day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. I am really excited to announce that I have been invited to be a guest designer for Creating Magazine, which is a new online magazine created by Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking. This will be her second edition, and I'm so excited to be a part of this wonderful new journey that she has created. For my project, I have created this beautiful fall harvest bucket bag. This project was created using a digital file by svgcuts.com. Now the great thing about them is that you can use a digital file, which I have, and I imported it into Cricut Design Space and then cut the files out on Cricut Maker, or you can print the files out and then cut them by hand to assemble the project. Fall is officially here and is the time for harvest, but also the time for giving thanks and for giving back. And I thought this bag would make a beautiful hostess gift, especially during Thanksgiving, Christmas, or any holiday. I used a beautiful paper collection by Cartabella called Fall Break, which came out last year. This bag is quite sizable. It measures 10 inches from the top to the bottom, 9 inches from left to right, and the depth is four inches. What's unique about this bucket bag is that it has this large square frame which protrudes from the front of the bag. And I chose a very pretty scene in the center, which is a church surrounded by beautiful trees in these fall colors. For the handle, I used a 12 gauge copper wire and then I wrapped around it this beautiful fall garland. I think that really adds beautiful detail and character to this project. On the side, I created this beautiful sunflower and I used patterned paper. In the center, I have it bedazzled with three different types of glitter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the bag as well as this sunflower. On the side panels, I used this dark orange gingham pattern. On the back, we have this very fun vintage paper. And this is a collage of all the different papers that are included in the fall break paper collection. On the side here, I finished the bag off with this fun burlap and this beautiful lace. I think it adds such a pretty touch to the overall bag. And because this has a country rustic feel, I really didn't want to embellish it too much. Here you also have a closer look of this beautiful garland. Now, as I mentioned, this is intended to be a hostess gift. And I want to show you some ideas for what you can include in here. I've already gone ahead and included some fun crinkle paper in autumn colors. First, I have this fun fall tumbler. It's got all of these fall words on it. I'm going to stick that here on the side. I'm including this fun fall hand towel. This has beautiful fall leaves and acorns and squirrels, and I've just wrapped it up very simply with this raffia. I have some savory items. We have this pepper dry salami, smoked salted almonds, and then Walker shortbread. I have these Keurig K-Cups in fun fall flavors. We've got pumpkin spice, Cinnabon, we have pecan, and then we also have our apple crumb cake. I have some sweets here. We have Werther's pumpkin spice candy, and then Ghirardelli dark chocolate with sea salt and caramel. And then we have this biscotti. I have three different flavors here in pumpkin, apple, and then we have a chocolate dip biscotti. Now the great thing about this is I kept all the packages very simple. I think it looks nice just with this colored paper on the bottom and then the raffia. This is going to go right on the top. Now that our bag is complete, it is ready to be given as a special gift. I'm going to clear off my desktop and then gather my materials so that we can make this project together. I'll be right back. I have gathered the materials to make our Harvest Sunset Bucket Bag. When you download your digital file, you will receive a menu that looks like this, and this contains all of the projects included in the Harvest Sunset Kit. We are going to be making this first project here, which says Harvest sunset bucket bag and this shows you all of the pieces that you will be cutting out to make this bag right here. I am using the fall break paper collection by Cartabella. This came out last fall. 
I've already gone ahead and glued some of the decorative panels on the inner square of the bag. And this little circle means that this is the top of the square. This piece here is going to be glued inside and it also has a circle on the top so you know exactly where you're going to be gluing. I'm going to set this aside for a second. You're going to cut out a decorative piece which is going to go in the center of the bag and it's going to go right here. So let's go ahead and glue that on right now. By the way, I didn't mention I am using my handy dandy art glitter glue. I absolutely love this. Please be sure to check the description box in the video to see how you can receive a 10% discount on purchases at artglitter.com. One thing I do want to point out is this is not a perfect square. It's actually narrow at the top and it fans out a little bit on the bottom. And you can see that more easily on this piece here. So I want to line this up. There should be a little border all around. I'm going to set that aside. Then I'm going to take these two pieces. I've already gone ahead and folded along the score lines. I'm going to start gluing these pieces together. So I'm going to glue this tab to this corner piece right here so that it's nice and flush. Now here you want to make sure that you get the pieces of paper lined up exactly to the score line. And then we're going to turn this around and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to glue this tab to the other piece so that it forms a nice little square. Now that we have these pieces glued together, we want to glue this piece right inside just like so. We're going to put glue on these tabs here. Okay, so we have the glue on all four panels. Let's take this piece and set it on this tab here. And once you have it in place, you can go ahead and just press it down. Okay, let's flip this over and then we can just burnish down these tabs to make sure that it is nice and secure. I have gone ahead and gathered the rest of the panels for the bag. We have our left and right panels and you'll notice that it has these tabs here. I did go ahead and glue on this polka dot green pattern on all sides and then we have the top and the bottom and I've folded along all of the score lines. This tab here, this lip that's closest to the inside of the bag, you want to fold that up because this centerpiece that we've just completed will be glued in to the bag. Before we add the center panel on, I'm going to start gluing these side pieces together. So I'm going to take this piece, make sure this tab is folded up, and I'm going to make sure that these tabs right here are folded up as well. So I'm going to put glue here and glue here. And I'm going to glue it to this bottom piece right here. For this bottom piece, you want to make sure that these tabs are facing to the right. These pieces are going to fit in just like so. And then we're going to go to the next piece and glue this tab on. We're going to glue this right panel on and it should fit in just like so. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to glue on these panels just like so, just like we did the bottom. Okay, and let's glue on this last panel here. Now that we have all of our panels glued together, we can go ahead and glue this panel. This is going to fit in just like so. And you'll notice that it is slightly askew. I think that adds to the charm of the bag, but it is designed to go that way. So what we want to do is put glue on this first tab. And in this case, you want to make sure you go tab by tab. You don't want to rush this process. Slide this in right by this in like so. I'm going to turn this over and glue this piece in. Make sure that it's adhered to the inside of our frame. So it might be easier just to hold it on this side 
rub your fingers back and forth across the tab. Right. Then we want to glue in the next tab. Just put glue right here on this tab and ample them out. Lift this up. And I'm just taking my fingers and pressing it against this beige piece right here. Okay, let's move to the next tab. Lift this up. Put some glue on this tab here. And we're going to repeat this process all the way around. Now that we have our side panels on, let's go ahead and glue our back panel on. So we're going to take this back piece, and I've already added on the decorative paper. So we're going to glue this together just like so on this tab here. Go ahead and do that now. And you want to make sure that you get this lined up right at the score lines. And use your bone folder. And then we're going to turn this over. Let's go ahead and glue it on this side. And we're going to take this piece and glue it onto this tab. Okay, and then I'm just going to attach this like so. I'm going to attach it at the top. And then hold it at the bottom. And then slowly work my fingers in towards the center. Now that we have our panels on, we need to secure the bottom of the bag. You want to grab your two panels, and there's one that is slightly smaller than the other. You want to take the one that's smaller, and we're going to put that in the bottom of the bag just like so. But before we do that, we need to put glue all around the perimeter. Let's go ahead and do that now. And you want to make sure that you've got something protecting your desktop because you will get glue all over it. Okay, and I find it's best to do this when you're standing up. You can see in the bottom here that there are those tabs that we folded in. That's where we want to adhere this piece. So just put that in gently. And make sure that all your tabs are covered. So just put your finger in and just work your way around. Press firmly from the outside, and then you want to press down on the inside. And if you can get your bone folder in, I suggest you do that as well. Okay, now let's turn this over. Okay, and we can see that all of our tabs are glued down. And then we're going to take this last piece, and we're going to glue it right on top. Okay. So let's turn this over, and then press down again. Take your bone folder. Now we have our bag complete, the sides are on. What you want to do is just gently curve it a little bit just to give it that bucket shape. And then you want to grab your panels. Now at first glance, these panels look exactly the same. However, they are slightly different. So with this one, you'll notice that the circle is slightly to the left. And on this one, the circle is slightly to the right. So the one that is going slightly to the left, this is the one that we want to glue to the left side. And you want to line the hole up, and you're going to have a small border around the left side, the bottom, and then you're going to have a larger border on the front, just like so. That is a decorative element. So we can go ahead and glue that down. One thing I forgot to mention is that you may want to train your paper so that it curves along the side of the panel. And so you can just take it and squeeze it like so. And then let's turn this over. We're going to line the holes up. Let that hold a little bit because it is on a curve. It'll want to pop up. Okay, and what you may want to do is go in and use your bone folder and just gently burnish it inside, just so you can get that edge attached. Okay, so let's turn the bag over. Okay, before we put the glue on, let's train this. And you wanna put an ample amount of glue on it, especially around the edges. And let's line this up. Give that a few seconds to hold. I find it easier to Get the adhesion on one side first when you have curved paper and then you can slowly work your way around and just curve it around and then turn it around and use your bone folder 
Now that we have our bag complete, I have cut out two of these little pieces. I've already glued one on the side here, but I want to glue this piece on here. These are not included in the file. I'm using this from another SVG Cuts file. And the reason I want to include this on the side of the bag is because it reinforces the area for when I put the wire handle through. And this is really just like a little star circle. I've cut off the top so that it's flushed at the top here. Let's glue that down now. And I'm just using a scrap piece of paper. I'm going to attach that just like so. I'm going to put this aside. And now we're going to start working on our sunflower. So I've gathered these pieces. The brown pieces are the center of the sunflower. You'll have four pieces. You have one piece that looks like this, almost like a little caterpillar. And you've got score lines on either side. You've got a medium piece that looks like this, a smaller piece that looks like this, and all of these have tabs. I've gone ahead and scored along the tabs. And then you have this piece right here. So we're going to glue this piece together. And you'll notice that right here, there are little score marks. So that tells you where to glue the paper up to. We're gonna fold these pieces. Okay, so let's go to the medium one and we're gonna do the same thing. There's a little score mark right there. We're gonna glue the tabs together. And then we're gonna to go to this last piece and there's a tiny little tick mark right there. We're gonna glue right up to that point. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just fold all of the square marks. Then I want to take this medium piece and I'm going to glue this piece right on top. Once you have this piece glued down, grab the smallest piece and that is going to go right on top. Okay, so we have this piece glued on. Let's take this last circle and we're going to glue that right on top. Okay, so while this is drying, I'm going to put this aside. Next, you want to grab your sunflower pieces. You're going to have these pieces, which are numbered. It's going to be difficult for you to see because the numbers are cut in to this on a pattern paper. So you have one. This is two. Actually, it's got a little two right here. And this is three. We're going to glue three together. There's a little tick mark, which may be difficult for you to see, that tells you where to glue the paper. So we're going to glue it right up to that tick mark on either side, just like so. So you'll have a complete flower like one and two. Okay, so we have this glued together. Let's put this aside and then grab your leaves. We have a little tick mark here that tells you where to glue. And then you're gonna start gluing down these patterns just like so. And they're gonna be glued around the perimeter of this sunflower, okay? So let's grab number two. You could certainly line these tabs here, but it's not necessary. I'm just going to do it offset. Okay, and then we have this last piece. Oops, I forgot to glue in this piece here. This piece is going to be glued in the back. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on this so that it'll attach faster. And then this piece is going to be glued in right in the center, just like so. What you want to do is go ahead and bend the leaves, bend them up to give it a little bit more of a realistic feel. And then you want to do the same thing for each of these tabs. Just bend and push them up. So this gives it some texture and a little bit of dimension. I'm going to finish doing this for the rest and then I'm going to add some glitter onto the center of this and then I'll be right back. While I was offline I added the glitter to the stamen of the sunflower. To see a full demo of how I did this please refer to the tutorial in my sunflower wreath video. I will include that link in the description box below. Our sunflower center has dried and we are going to add this to the center of our sunflower. To do that, we want to fold all of these little tabs. I'm going to go ahead and use my hot glue gun, and I'm just going to put a bead of hot glue all around the center here. Grab the sunflower, 
and I'm going to press that quickly into the middle. And this is our completed sunflower. I think that looks so beautiful. Before we attach this to our bag, we are going to put on the handle. So let's set this aside. For the handle, I have this copper wire, which is 12 gauge. I purchased this at Michael's and I cut a piece about 24 inches. And something that I want to try is this garland. This is by Ashland. It's called Coiled Garland. And I got this in the fall section at Michael's. First, I'm going to take my wire and I'm just going to bend in a little loop, just like so. This is about maybe an inch and a half. I'm going to feed it through. Bend this piece too. And I'm just going to take this and twist a little bit, bend the sharp edges down. And then for this piece, I'm going to do the same. Have that wrap around and then bend down. Okay, and so we have our handle. Now I'm going to take this garland, I'm going to feed it through here. And bend it up just like we did for the handle, wrap it around, and then loosely wrap this around the handle. And the little pieces that are sticking out like that, you can wrap that around the wire as well to help anchor it. And you don't need too much, you just want to wrap enough around for decorative purposes. I think I'm going to cut this right down here, feed this through. And bend it up just like we did on the other side this is what we have so far okay and I like the fact that you can see the copper wire running through so it's got a really rustic feel to it okay so let's glue on our sunflower I'm just gonna glue this right on the side I'm gonna put an ample amount of glue on the back of this and then just attach it and it doesn't make a difference how the leaves are it really is personal choice. I have completed my fall harvest bucket bag. I absolutely love the way this turned out and this was a really fun project to work on. As you may notice, I have filled this with lots of goodies. As I mentioned in the beginning of my video, this is intended to be a hostess gifts, which is perfect for Thanksgiving or Christmas or any holiday. All you simply have to do is change the paper. So I've included fun edible items. This concludes my review of my fall harvest bucket basket. Hopefully I've inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will always be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you and your family a very happy fall with many blessings. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.